Hi everybody and welcome. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I am very happy to present to you Hidden Treasures Junk Journal. Yes, she is finally complete and she is for sale in my Etsy shop as of the upload of this video. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough through this journal. She is a fabric covered journal. She is a soft cover journal so she has the squish factor if you like that. She has a wonderful feel to her. She is covered in um, doilies, crocheted pieces, beautiful muslin pieces, hand uh, coffee dyed pea, um, fabrics and she has sewing around and uh, she just feels lovely she has a zigzag all the way around to anchor her together her stats are she is nine inches by six inches she has four signatures and she is stuffed to the gills she is a chunky monkey she has 192 pages not including all the ephemera now you can remove all the ephemera and she will debulk quite a bit if you want um, a writing journal or you can just leave all the goodies in there and I call her hidden treasures because she has a lot of hidden treasures so let's take a peek she has this uh, double sash of a sari silk like a mauve sari silk mixed with a, um, uh, a beautiful trim with sequins on it and that's completely removable uh, it's just to bind her and so let's take a peek all right, here she has a little book plate on the front page, an ex libris. Here is her note to the book uh, about this journal, a little about this handmade journal, a note from the bookmaker. Um, it explains what a junk journal is and how you can use it. This is a belly band and it has a nice, very old picture of a lovely couple here from days gone by. And some hand drawing, a little flourishes at the top. Um, this is a fabric uh, paper clip, and this is a very old uh, document from 1893, a handwritten document. It's in a plastic sleeve. Um, I would say she's prob primarily beige and pink with color tones, like softened antique rose pink color tones throughout. Uh, this is a little interactive um, for uh, little things to explore here. Here's a pocket, here's another pocket, and here's something here to explore. Here is a little, um, little pinned um, cluster, and here is a Victorian calling card. This is a fabric uh, pocket with um, a little bird's nest there and some drawing on some parchment paper that's been hand dyed, coffee dyed, and here's some beautiful um, calligraphy from olden days. And this is a big belly band here. This is made with a napkin very fun on an envelope here's a little cluster on some coffee dyed paper here's a um, fabric collage cluster in the corner here's just a, another little fabric collage sewn around um, some interesting little uh, postcards and handwritten things and some beautiful that's from the um, I think that is from the botanical illustrations I believe did you get and here is a little I think this is a little notebook inside yes clipped on that's removable. Here's a die cut. Some more beautiful old handwriting from 20, uh, 20, 1918. Um, this is a cool, this is a playing card that we turned into a fun little corner pocket. There's a little interesting envelope there. Here's an old postcard. Here's a fun little way to, you can use uh, the German Gothic text with some cutouts. The center with a little um, metal tag, a, a shower can, and this is a, this is one of these pull apart things, some stenciling. As I said, I'm just going to go through it quickly here. Here's some Victorian scraps, some other little a double pocket there, some room for writing, a um, another beautiful picture of a family from olden days. Very nice, some handwriting here. This is from the Heartthrobs book. There's an old um, division flashcard. We'll fold the thing there. Just some fun oddities along here, just trying different things. Here's some uh, neurographic art, very fun to do. I have a video on that if you're interested in that. From 1914. Um, uh, it looks like some promises to somebody. Promises, I will, I will, I will. Okay, or maybe some prayers. Um, here's a fun little envelope that we made. It is stuffed with all sorts of things. I think it's a triple envelope, actually, into that big pocket. Another envelope. Here's another belly band with an autograph page. 
and some braille behind it. So just trying to give you a lot of different texture. Still living lots of places to write. Um, adding fun little things from days gone by. That's one of my things I love to do is collect old papers, old handwritten papers, old photographs, old receipts, old checks, things like that. Here's these beautiful um, silk shawls and dress goods. Uh, Victorian call, uh, trade card. That's how they used to advertise back then. They would hope that you would save those and put those in your scrapbook, and a lot of people did that. Here's another trade card. Here's a fabric upper pocket with some stamping. Here's an old recipe for a crab mold. And uh, here's some um, embossing gilding. Here's some old currency. Just a torn page on a very intensely avocado dyed paper. Pockets and tucks here. And here is um, a little metal charm again. Here is a fabric tab. Here's an upper tuck with a uh, handwritten envelope in it. Just some uh, stenciling and another beautiful picture. This is apparently Ellis. Ellis Hitchman. You pick him out in the crowd. It must be this guy probably. I don't know. I don't know. Um, here's a, a three-side pocket tuck with some, I believe this might be either Russian or Ukrainian document. And it's an authentic document. Lots of good historical pieces in here. Here's an envelope filled with nice things to explore. More hand stenciling, hand drawing in the corners, complementing these colors. Just something for fun. Here's a tearaway petticoat envelope um, booklet. And here's another little tearaway notebook. This was made with tissue paper and sewing. A lot of fun little different things in this one. Here's an old prescription. Here's a cool little envelope we made. It's stuffed with fun things to find. Another little envelope, goodies in there. Lots of different ways to make those. Some beautiful old Gothic writing. Here's, oh, this is one of the rare pieces for my old funeral book. So you're going to have some interesting pieces in the, there with the the burial of so-and-so, Mr. William Keating, um, the casket, the plate, the box, icing the body, the permit, the candles, the hearse, the coaches, all the different fees for that. Very interesting historic stuff. Um, embalming the body. Yeah, it was just interesting what they did back then. Burial of ar arm, nail on. Huh, well, that's why maybe he lost his arm and they were burying the arm. That's interesting, right? Maybe during wartime or maybe a farming accident. We never know. We never know. Fun little pockets. Little teapot. Lots of writing space. Little vintage images here. An old valentine. An old crow. Here's a, a, a vocabulary card and a Victorian scrap tucked in there. So you just never know what you're going to find. Some old receipts. More braille, um, catty corner tucks. Another one of those. Here's a prepaid um, document from the city, an authentic one. Here's some more authentic. Well, this is from the 1850s. This piece of paper, probably a receipt of some sort. Very interesting. Nice to write on the back, too. Important documents of days gone by. These are all flip ups for extra writing space. Just a fun page to do. Uh, that was like a neurographic tree. Some more tuckables. Here's a little belly band with an old letter in it. Some music paper. I love this little picture of this little guy on the car. Isn't he cute? He's so cute on that car. Look at me, Mom. I'm on the car. <laughs> now come get me down. <laughs> right? Right? So cute with a letter, a handwritten letter behind him. Here's an old check. Here's where we... Um, peel the wording with tape off of a page. That was fun. Uh, here's a big belly band with a big card in it. So many fun things to explore. Here's a, um, an old plant, a little flower encased in plastic acetate. Some graph or numer numeral tables, numeric tables. Some interesting things. I uh, stamped, hand stamped and colored that. Just interesting things. Blueprint. You never know what you're going to find. Here's an old uh, letter from the White House. See that? That's pretty cool. That's probably something. Harriet Law Club. Oh, that's an interesting piece. Definitely a collectible. Uh, upper and lower tuck with a St. John's wart in it. Here we made some paper flowers. If you remember, we made those together. Those were fun. Very easy, very fun, 
Anybody can make them. Beginners can make them too. Here's a beautiful cabinet card, an original from way back when. Lovely lady there. And just some more little plants put in these windows. Here's another envelope. So a lot of different and unique things here that I haven't put in other journals. So, um, and lots of writing room. And like I said, you can take all these things out and it will decompress. But right now it is a very big junky monkey. I don't think I said the, um, oh, there's some collage paper. Uh, another beautiful envelope. The butterfly, and that is the last one. The, there's fabric also on the inside. And I would say, I did, didn't give you a measurement on this, but sitting as is, just on her own steam, her chunky monkey mouth is probably about almost seven inches tall. So she's a, she's a chunker. So if you are interested in this little girl, she is available in my Etsy shop, where she was at the beginning of this video. And um, her, she gets free priority shipping with that, and I will ship her out immediately upon payment and she is ready for a new home so if you would like to have what did i call her hidden treasures i think so hidden treasures um she can be yours so i hope you had fun today sunny do you have anything to say anything any kind words for the people yes mom i'm i'm totally ready here i'm in my bed and i'm now coming out of my bed apparently i really don't have much much choice in the matter here i am ready to present the pup date for the day. Hello everyone, Sunshine Cub Reporter here with the pup date of the day. Okay, the sister-in-law has left the building. She went back home to Germany. We already miss her very much. Um, I'm not getting as many snacks now because she's gone. But mom said she would take me for a walk today, right mom? Mom they said the walk was today, right mom? Okay, yes, we'll go for a walk today. You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> okay, we'll make that happen. How about that? Because you're such a sweet pea. Um, oh, thanks, Mom. And, um, all right. It's all up to you and me now, Mom. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. All right. You're good? I'm good. Take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Okay. <laughs> um, so there you go, folks. If you don't know, I'm going to put this here. Um, zoom it in. Okay. Because um, some people ask me about this if they can't open the drop down uh, description box down below. I'm just going to put this here for ease. But I have a free monthly email newsletter. Um, and all you do is sign up for that, and then you will get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies to look for when you're making junk journals, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. I tuck it into the beginning of mine, as you saw here, and you can change it um, if you like, and or use it as is. Um, also, I have um, a page list of ideas to help you break the blank page and use it four different ways. One idea, four different ways that can look different in your journal um, all throughout to give you some variety and uh, get that journal decorated. I, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And then on the other days, there's video podcasts that you can watch on Spotify. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you can buy journals and bundles and things like that when they are available for sale um, and kits. So I have the journal for sale today and there will be fabric packs coming up very soon. Um, I also sell digi kits, which are computer files, printables. You get five pages per digi kit. Uh, they're themed like birds or Victorian or checks or dra dragonflies. And I think there's about 200 of them now. And also, um, I, if you don't have a printer or don't like to print, I will print them for you. It's called my print and mail service. You just purchase the print and mail service. You don't need to purchase every DigiKit. Um, I, you can get up to 10 DigiKits included with it. Give me the names of the 10 DigiKits. I only need the first two or three words, and you can either send the list to Pam at the paperoutpost.com. You can't see that. Pam at the paperoutpost.com or um, message your list to me in Etsy, which actually is easier probably for both of us. Um, and I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you like those old and interesting papers, you can get 100 plus pieces in a fundal pack. Um, it includes free priority mail shipping, and you get all sorts of really neat things like old ledger, old checks, old postcards, old receipts, black and white photos, all sorts of fun things to make your junk journals with or have fun things to tuck inside. Music pages, dictionary pages, nature, uh, science, all sorts of cool sections in there. And um, the stock is always rotating as I go through things, but those categories generally remain the same. And um, I have an Amazon shop. 
if you are, it's not on this page, but uh, just Google Amazon, the paper outpost, and you'll find my Amazon shop link there. If you purchase things through those links, that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using those links. So thank you very much for those of you who are clicking on those links. And I have a merchandise shop. If you're looking for, a, uh, I have, um, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, uh, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, or um, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And I think Actually, let me test it right now. I'm just going to put, um, I don't know if this works. Paper Outpost uh, Teespring. Let's see if it pulls it up. Huh, yeah, I guess it does. Um, so if you pull, if you Google the Paper Outpost Teespring, like T-E-E-S-P-R-I-N-G, you will find my shop. Just click on that. Let's see if that goes to my shop. It goes to one of the. Oh no! It does does something weird. Okay, maybe don't do that. I'll give you the. I'll give you the actual link so you can find it. Eh, I don't know. I, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll add it to this. That that's what I'll do. Okay, it's coming for those of you who can't do the drop down. If you just want to go in the drop down description box below the video, all the hot links are there, and you just click on them, and you magically go to that place. You can also find me on social media: Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group. Um, you can, uh, we do weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. So if you like that, if you're interested, come on over and post away or just lurk and get inspired by the amazing ideas that are there. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and keep creating with reckless abandon and you'll be making your junk journals before you know it. It's not hard. Anybody can do it. Everybody ought to make a book at least once in their life. Take care, everyone. Happy day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.